Good morning. We are here at the island. One of our favorite spots here in Pigeon Forge. We're going to go around. We're going to test some things. Maybe just sit around, hang out, enjoy the day. Yes, if you are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, this is one of the spots you want to come to. They have all the shops. Looks like we might have some rain today. I brought my umbrella. I got the old smoky moonshine over here. You want some popcorn. Got the popcorn there. Got the creamery, ice creamery, island creamery, whatever you call it. Ice cream. And all kinds of stuff. Build-A-Bear. We got the island tiki over here. And got some foot gear if you're looking for some really expensive shoes. The interactive 7D adventure and the sweet shop where you can get all kinds of candy to get you properly wired for the island. And if we turn a little bit more to the right here, you have the Margaritaville restaurant here in the middle. And then you have the resort, the island resort. If you guys remember the Margaritaville Island Hotel, we stayed there. Uh, it's been a couple months ago. We just did like a weekend getaway. But I will leave that video in the description box below if you would like to check out and see what that hotel looks like. Uh, Paula Dean's Family Kitchen. We also did a review on that restaurant. And if you're looking for a big thrill, that Skyfly ride, it's like a flying movie theater type ride. Really cool. You ready? <laughs> Guys, we are exhausted. We've been here for a week already. This is our last full day. I know, it's sad. But you know what? We're, I don't even know what to say. Might be a lot of bumbling words today. We are fully exhausted. Uh, we're not going to Gatlinburg this trip. It's spring break. Spring break here, 2023. The crowd has been insane. Yeah. We did go to Dollywood, though. Hopefully you guys uh, got to see that video. I will also leave that video in the description box below so you can check out us walking around Dollywood, not being able to ride anything because there was 9 billion people. So Jess brought to my attention, apparently that day we went to Dollywood, there were a lot of angry people. Yeah, I was reading on their Facebook page that a lot of people were complaining about how busy it was and that it took them two hours just to get in and park, which is sort of like how it was for us, like before they were even inside the park. Um, and they said they went to management and they gave them tickets to come back. We didn't go and complain because we were just kind of over it at that point. But, I don't know, the people were saying that they really need to have, like, a capacity limit, so I guess they don't have one. Um, but, yeah, it was insane that day. I will say, if you come to the island, make sure you stay at the top of the hour. They do a fountain show where they, they uh, coordinate the, the fountain here with a bunch of music. And it's really cool. Unfortunately, we can't listen to the music and stuff because it's all copyrighted. But uh, yeah, if ever you're down here, check it out. It's pretty awesome. One thing I am kind of missing right now is over here by this lemonade stand. Really good lemonade. It is a little overpriced, if you ask me. But they got rid of Auntie Anne's there. Do they still have Auntie Anne's by the other popcorn place? No, they don't have it here at all, I don't think. Oh, anymore. maybe the uh, maybe the contract's up. Oops. Yep. Another nice thing about the island here is you have the tram stop out here to the left past margaritaville is all it's free parking guys free parking the tram is free brings you right up here in front uh, and it's pretty convenient we we had to park kind of far back so nice to have the uh tram so the show has started here so i'm just gonna kind of like try to talk over some of the music so you can see some of what goes on a couple of crazy rides they got here this thing uh, goes up and down and hold on for dear life look at this this is nuts I, you know it's funny it actually does not go upside down I used to think it did 
It just kind of looks like it does. You stay straight up. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of crazy how that works. Kind of intertwine each other. Whoa. Guess that drops a few times. I will say that the mountain uh, Ferris wheel here it's a little creepier than it looks. Those things, and uh, if you're in some high winds, those things shake like crazy. We actually did a video a couple years ago where we went on this, and uh, Jess was not a fan. I said maybe they do have aliens over there. I've seen the sign. Oh, really? I see Cinnabon still there. This is about the extent of our excitement here as far as rides go. I would ride the carousel. That's pretty much it. This thing right here, this is pretty nuts. That one does go upside down, that thing. And then they got this crazy spinny thing that pretty much goes completely sideways. Look at this nonsense. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I'm good. I like my breakfast right where it is. We're gonna go in and check out the Patriot Peddler here. Your Made in America store, so I assume everything and here it's gonna be made in the USA. And here we have a Jess looking at stuff. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, old glory here. What is this? Historical documents. People need to read these. Oh, uh, let's see. Got the uh, Declaration of Independence. That's pretty cool. Got some flags. Do they say made in America? <laughs> Do they? Wow. I guess I should have got it here. It's also way more expensive. $40. How big well, is that one? Is, like is it? 30 by 5 feet. Oh, yeah. We got some cool stuff in here. Very patriotic. They have World War II Opoly. <laughs> you look out there, they got it's different cool. uniforms all the way up. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Got the Air Force uniform there. It looks really cool. Yeah, there's a ton here. It's pretty awesome. Different uh, U.S. Marines. Got the Marine uniforms here. Wow. That's pretty awesome, guys. I like this. Wow, look at this. I like that. We the people, guys. Oh, I don't feel like... Oh, see, they get you on the bigger sizes. <laughs> Buying this one. $22.99. Well worth it to me. This way, everywhere I walk, people can read the words. <laughs> this is pretty cool here. They got some, some hymns. Lord's Prayer here. This is all in wood. Amazing Grace here. That's pretty neat. Blessed Assurance. What's that one? The Old Rugged Cross. How Great Thou Art. Nice. These are pretty cool. Some really cool ornaments here, guys. Land of the Free because of my grandpa. That is, that is some true, true statement right here. Got these awesome stickers here. This is really cool. I like this one. Support law enforcement. Let's see, we got United States Air Force, the Navy. Got the Army there. Wow, this is, I like this store. We've never been in this store before. Is this place new? I mean, I know it was here the last time we were here. Yeah, usually it's, it's right in between Auntie Anne's and uh, the Fudgery, so... It's uh, hard to pass those up. But yeah, I can't believe I've never been in this store. Got some cool shirts here. I like this one. Yeah. Look at this. Home of the free because of the brave. I like that. That's awesome. If you are on a journey to visit all 50 states, this would be a neat book to have. Yeah, visit all 50 states oh, journal. So it has all the states... And then you write like when you visited it and like, all you did there. Yeah. So it literally has like them all listed Whoa. in there, Hawaii. Yeah, those are the first two because. <laughs> I like the fifth more for like 
bigger states like Michigan had a lot of different things. Different and Minnesota pages. has different pages because there's different, you know, big, there's probably big a lot towns and big states. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They got some maps here, and up here we've got a bunch of different soldiers' pictures, different patches. Guys, I gotta say this this store is really awesome. I like that they honor a lot of our heroes. That is awesome. Well, they weren't lying when they said uh, patriotic store, huh? <laughs> Look at that. United States Navy there. I like these. We the people. Absolutely. You, the government. These are pretty cool. Nice little license plate things. Put on the front of your car. If you don't have to have a front license plate. Kind of glad that Ohio did away with the front license plate thing. <laughs> Got all the different hats here. Army, United States Navy, Vietnam veteran. Air Force. Guys, if you are very patriotic, this is the store to come to. This place is great. Well, I think I might have found a new mug to drink some coffee with you guys on the live shows. Check that out. These are $14.49, but I don't really care. This might be the coolest coffee mug I've ever seen. And it can hold a lot of coffee. It's pretty deep. I'd say a good uh, 16 ounces, maybe. Definitely more than 12. America. Okay, so now we're going to check out the Farmhouse Decor and Gifts. Another store that we've never shopped at before here. Uh, we try to leave a couple things behind so that, you know, we always come to Gatlinburg at least once a year. So we try to leave a couple stores so that we can check out later. You know, so we got something else to do. They do have a lot of cool Smoky Mountain hoodies in here. Let's check out some of the prices. Though. Okay, so these Momentum, Momentum, uh, these right here. Well, this is a nice material. Feel this, Jess. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, what do they call that? Like that moisture wicking stuff? Is that what that is? Moisture wicking? That's kind of like what it feels like. Oh, yeah. It's nice. I mean, it's thicker. $34.99 for these. But, yeah, they look cool. You guys know I love to check out the hats everywhere. I like these Smoky Mountain hats right here. And really, see, like, for these might be a little bit more than some that we've seen. But the quality looks a lot better. Like, the stitching in this looks way better. Uh, this right here looks way better. Um, and these are only $17.49. Wow, that's not a bad price. That's the cheapest hat I've seen here. Some of these shirts look uh, store-specific. I haven't seen these anywhere with the uh signature on there but these kind of shirts you can pretty much find anywhere uh every gift shop in pigeon forge has stuff like this well jess found something really interesting <laughs> we are wanted dead or alive <laughs> dead or alive you are coming with me okay guys uh what movie is that from let us know down in the comments well the title of this store is living up to its name here they have a lot of cool House decor, farmer type decor here. Got the tin, you know, the kind of stuff you find at Cracker Barrel. Crazy doesn't run in my family. It practically gallops. <laughs> That's some pretty neat stuff. You know, if we had a house with like a basement, I wouldn't mind doing like a farmer theme. You know, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, it's some of the... Some of the stuff we love, I got a, uh, let's see, I have a good heart, but this mouth. <laughs> so if you're going hiking, they have these nice hiking sticks here. I'm a believer in just grabbing a, a nice stick that you find on your way, but if you want a nice shiny one that's going to cost you yeah, 30 bucks, I mean, that's a pretty nice design. And then when you're done, you can get one of these flasks to help ease the pain. Check these cups out. These are pretty awesome. You can fill a lot of coffee or anything in one of these. Well, that was our trip to the island. One of our favorite spots, guys. 
every time we we've actually gone a couple times uh but we were waiting today to do the video because we just wanted to relax yeah. enjoy ourselves uh it was really cool to see the patriot store yeah peddler patriot peddler Ped, yeah is that I, it I think okay it was something peddler. yeah but peddler. got yeah. we will be uh glad i got the shirt just got this awesome journal we'll probably do like a review of some of the things we bought you know, maybe during one, maybe one of our live shows or something, we might do that. That sound like fun? Maybe so. We'll see. <laughs> but awesome time. Uh, if you've never been to the island, we highly recommend it. All kinds of stuff to do. Treats, ice cream, foods. Paula Dean's Family Kitchen is one of our favorites. Mm. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember, the adventure is out, out there. there. Bye now. Thank you.